What is our first main topic today? All right, guys, this is coming from James Tyson. Hi, John. First of all, loved the video you shared of the Adopt-A-Family Christmas. Oh, thank you, James. So amazing what the movie fan community can do. Second, as I write this, I'm one hour away from watching the Hawkeye finale. What did you think of it? And how would you rate the series overall? Thanks. All right. Thanks for sending that in, man. And yeah, we're going to do a Hawkeye open spoiler discussion a little bit later uh, this afternoon. Keep your guys' eyes open for that. But we will. I will give my general impressions about the Hawkeye season finale. Um, you guys know that I did not like um, episodes one and two. I mean, I didn't hate them, but I wasn't all that big on it. Episode three started to turn things around for me. Uh, episode four was also pretty good. Episode five, I thought, was the best episode of the series. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of balanced out. It's like, okay, I'm, I'm getting into this. I'm starting to like this. It's got to nail the landing. It's got to stick the landing. I'm going to tell you, I did not think it stuck the landing. Mm -hmm. I will tell you right now, I, I was not a fan of, of Hawkeye episode six, the finale. And because it was already so close going into it, I think at the end of the day, I think this is the first Disney uh, plus Marvel show that I don't like. I didn't hate it. I did not hate it. There are definitely episodes that I enjoyed and liked. There are certain elements that I enjoyed and I liked. But I think at the end of the day, I'm going to look at in the mirror and say, yep, I mean, I loved WandaVision. I liked Falcon and Winter Soldier. I liked Loki. Uh, but I did not like overall this. It, it didn't stick the landing for me. They did a number of very, very questionable things uh, going into it. Now, of course, last week they introduced us to Kingpin. So, that was, so we knew Kingpin was going to be in it this week. Without going into detail... I mean, I'm sorry. There's no there's no discussion anymore. We've been discussing about whether, you know, Vincent D'Onofrio is the the exact, is this the same kingpin that we saw in the Netflix shows? I don't think there's any question about it. This isn't the same kingpin. This is a Walmart kingpin. This is an absolute Walmart. 1988? Uh, well, 1999 discount bin. Right? Yeah, 1988 Walmart 88. discount uh, uh, kingpin, which rack. I was eh, to see. Um, you know, we knew Yelena and Hawkeye were going to have a confrontation. Like we, we were all just waiting for that to happen. I was underwhelmed by it. Um, they're, they're, we won't go into the details of the conversation, but the conversation was like, really? That's what the conversation is? Um, the resolutions of the watch, I thought, was very, I'll call it a waste, the way they, they kind of hyped up the watch through the entire show and it just end up being a, something of a quick reveal. We won't say what. The the resolution of Kate's mom, it's like, well, that was kind of just baldly predictable that we knew like there was not, I then it just got a little corny and yeah, I, I didn't hate the finale. I did yeah. not hate it. There are certainly moments in it that, you know, we were laughing and chuckling at and uh, in a good way. But at the end of the day, I think Hawkeye was a show that Number one, I, de I struggle with a bit, a bit of an identity crisis. Mm -hmm. It never seemed to quite know what it was. Like you watch Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and I don't love Falcon and the Winter Soldier, but I enjoyed it and I liked it. And But one of the things you can absolutely say about it was from episode one through the episode, the ending of the episode, this show had a sense of its identity. WandaVision always had a perfect sense of its identity. And I just kind of feel like by the end of it, I felt like Hawkeye never really quite knew what it was. Um... It felt like it shifted from episode to episode. And at the end of the day, I felt like this was a series I didn't even need to watch. Um, I love Jeremy Renner. He's he awesome. Uh, I love Florence Pugh. I love Haley Steinfeld. I love everybody involved. But it just, at the end of the day, just kind of fizzled for me, uh, which was unfortunate that that was my take. But it, it was my take nonetheless. And, and then... There's the post credit scene. <laughs> which the best post credit scene. <laughs> <laughs> then there's the post credit scene, which all I will say is left me going, really? Really? That's the post credit scene? <laughs> really? Okay. The whole time I was laughing too. You just, were. Just looking at the back of John's head, I was just laughing. I was like, <laughs> Cause you can see my this head guy like might going, be fuming right now. <laughs> <or> <laughs> my head's just going like now don't don't get me wrong again I'm not, I, I didn't I didn't mind what they did in the post credit scene mm -hmm. I just thought but that's the post credit scene I, 
whatever. <laughs> uh, that that's a nitpick. That's an admitted nitpick. That one that one is an admitted nitpick. I don't know. Ray, you saw the final episode. Just just quickly, what's your how did you feel about the final episode and then overall how are you going to remember Hawkeye as a show? I guess when I when it first started, I was expecting a little too much, but as the show's progressed, I was like, this guy is just a guy really with a bone arrow. He has no superpowers or whatever. I shouldn't expect more or something crazy to happen. And that's literally what just what we got. That's it. Just a bone arrow play and nothing too like out of out there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it, to be honest. But it, um, it's not an instant classic, bro. <laughs> it's not a classic, bro. Bro, <laughs> I, I actually, what people find annoying, I thought was the funniest part of the whole series, the tracksuit mafia, because it reminds me of so many friends I have that talk like <laughs> that talk like that. To be honest, hey, hey bro, <laughs> hey bro, it's not classic, bro. Um, I I will say this: so somebody in the live chat is saying, well, you know, John was never really excited about Hawkeye, so we shouldn't be surprised, dude. There's a lot of things I go into that I'm not surprised that I'm not terribly excited about that I end up freaking out and loving. I mean. I think the best Spider-Man movie ever made, Spider-Man and the Spider-Verse, like I was right out against that movie. Like I was against it. I talked for a year about how stupid this idea was and it's dumb and oh, no yeah. one's going. And then I'm like, well, damn, that was awesome. <laughs> like, I, So yeah, I was never excited for a Hawkeye series, truly, but that how excited I am about something going into it has no impact about whether I like it or not. And I was wanting to love it. Just like I wanted to love loki and i didn't love loki although i did like loki i like loki but yeah this is for me the one i don't know kim general just quick impression about the episode itself and then where does that now leave it for you when you look back on the series as a whole what are you feeling about it i was so excited for this i was so excited for this um in terms of kate and i'm not going to spoil anything i do feel like they really captured a girl in her 20s that's got everything going for her and has some real life lessons to learn. In that aspect, they did a great job. Um, in terms of it being our first like real Marvel Christmas holiday movie, it was great. It felt Christmassy. Christmas in New York can't get more Christmassy than that. Um, warm and fuzzies all over. M my negatives are it honestly ended like a live action Saturday morning cartoon. I swear, if Kevin McAllister walked by <laughs> and had a scene with Kate, like, hey, you're cute. Want to go out sometime or some, or want a slice of pizza? Or, oh, I was just feeding pizza dog some pizza while she's in the alley. I watch my dog. That would have been perfect because that was the tone. It's Home Alone meets Marvel. And that's how it felt. And honestly, I was a bit disappointed because I had such high hopes but there was just too much to complete in this episode and um without spoiling anything i just um god i was i was disappointed i was disappointed but i'm looking forward to seeing more of kate bishop now i know that who she is what she's about that she's got that gumption um she's got what it takes and she, as she matures as a young lady she'll really understand the higher stakes of what it takes to be an avenger so we'll see I, i'll say this too I said going this this last episode is going to be the make or break for me about whether or not I'm going to have any interest at all in an Echo show. I officially have no interest in an Echo show. I didn't want to spoil. I don't want. Yeah, I didn't yeah, want to say anything. Say what happens, but but, but um, I mean, yeah. In, in that aspect, this this actually solidifies my belief that that's just a placeholder title. I don't believe there is an Echo show. You know what? I don't think one exists because there's just no way. Yeah, I... There's I, no freaking way. I Listen, a lot of people have been writing into the show suggesting that very thing, that the Echo is just a placeholder. And I said, yeah. well, because they've said, you know, they did that with the Captain America Serpent Society. They said, yeah, but it was still a Captain America thing. Yeah. They just, they just kind of were hid, hiding who the enemy was going to be. I think we'll see her again. I Well, no, we're definitely going to see her be, again. It won't be her show. No, I... I Look, I still, if I had to bet five bucks right now, are we getting an Echo show? I would still bet five bucks that yes, we are. But whereas 48 hours ago, I thought we are absolutely getting an Echo show. Now I'm like, well, we're probably getting an Echo show. But now, I, because honestly, I, I just, there was nothing about, was she a decent supporting character in the Hawkeye show? Sure. Did I see anything in that character that made me go, man, I really want to see a story focused on this character? No, I did not. 
So, I mean, that's just kind of where I was left. So I don't know. Maybe people agree. Maybe people disagree. Question is for you guys, though. What did you think about the Hawkeye finale? And then what do you think about the show overall? I thought it had its pros and its cons. The cons a little bit outweighed the pros for me on this one. Maybe it didn't for you. However you guys are feeling about it, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.